What's cooking everybody? It's Dor, and in this walkthrough we will be covering how to get your first living ship in No Man's Sky in 2021. We will be taking a look at getting a Void Egg, how to start and complete the Starbirth mission, as well as how to make sure you're satisfied with the living ship you'd receive. And so without any further ado, let's get straight into it. The first step in getting a living ship is to acquire a Void Egg from the Anomaly. You can purchase a Void Egg from the Quicksilver Synthesis Companion for 3200 Quicksilver. To earn Quicksilver, just head up to the Nexus. Here you can select daily missions which will reward you with 250 Quicksilver, or you can select a weekend event in the weekends to receive 1200 Quicksilver. Once you have earned enough Quicksilver to purchase a Void Egg, just keep it in your inventory, enter your ship and start pulsing. You'll get the message that an anomaly is detected. Exit the pulse and open your starship's communicator. After interacting with the living ship, you will receive coordinates to a system nearby and the Starbirth mission will officially begin. To be able to warp into the system, you might need an Emerald Drive. This can be unlocked from Iteration Hyperion aboard the anomaly for 120 nanites. Once you've warped into the system, you'll see that the egg requires you to visit a specific planet. Previously, you had to inspect the egg to see which one and track down coordinates. But as of the Expeditions update, 3.3, an approximate location will be marked on your HUD. Fly there, land your ship and use the target sweep function on your multi-tool to see which way you'll need to go. Once you are within range, the target sweep will finalize the signal and mark it on your HUD. Interact with the monolith to see that it needs a consciousness bridge. Back out of the monolith to receive the formula. You'll need 250 hexides, 50 pugnium and a corvex casing. Pugnium can easily be acquired by killing sentinels. For the hexide, a location will be marked on your HUD. Get into your starship and fly there. Once you arrive at the crash freighter, simply interact with the distress beacon to receive the hex site. And finally, you'll need a Corvax casing. You can easily get one by visiting a trade station in a Corvax dominated system. Just walk up to any incoming trader to be able to purchase one. Now you have all the ingredients, you can go ahead and craft the consciousness bridge. Return to the monolith and interact with it to be able to insert the consciousness bridge. You will be rewarded with a fragile neural stem which takes between 18 and 25 and a half hours to mature. So when the time has passed and the neural stem has matured, get into your ship and start pulsing. The living ship will once again approach you. Open the Starship Communicator and accept the transmission. You'll receive coordinates to another system. Warp there, head to the approximate location and start the target sweep. It will guide you to another monolith, though this time it will need you to insert a pulsating core. Back out to receive the blueprint for the solar ray, as well as for the pulsating core, which costs 250 liquid sun, 100 gold and 80 more die to craft. Install the solar ray onto your multi-tool for 50 magnetized ferrite and 50 cobalt. The solar ray will convert metals into liquid sun when harvested. Use your scanner to track down a deposit nearby and go there. Use the solar ray to harvest the deposit just like you would with a terrain manipulator. The 100 gold needed to construct the pulsating core can be retrieved from the same kind of deposit or by shooting asteroids. And for the 80 Mordite root, you can just kill some planetary fauna. Once you have all materials needed, craft the pulsating core and insert it into the monolith. You'll receive a fragile heart, which takes 19 to 25 hours to mature. Once the heart has matured, get into your starship and start pulsing. 
accept the transmission, warp into the system and go to the approximate location. Use the target sweep and interact with the monolith. This time it will ask you for an impossible membrane. You'll need 100 chromatic metal, you can get this by refining copper, 1 hypnotic eye, retrieved by killing an abyssal horror underwater, and 150 living water, for which you'll need to pulse in space until you find the child of Helios and communicate with it. Craft the impossible membrane, return to the monolith, insert it and receive the fragile shell, which takes 20 to 24 hours to mature. So another day has passed, the shell has matured and will once again take off and start pulsing. We'll be contacted by a living ship, receive new coordinates and we warp into the new system. Now I don't know about you, but I'm getting some serious Groundhog Day vibes here. So once you enter the system, ah yes, space pirates. So once you enter the system, the Void Egg once again gives you an approximate location to visit. Go there, use the target sweep and interact with the boundary failure. It will require the seeds of glass to be fixed and you'll receive the blueprint as well as the animus beam for your multi-tool. Install the animus beam for 100 condensed carbon and 50 sodium nitrate to be able to harvest fragmented Koalia from planetary fauna. While I'm doing so, I want to ask you to please leave a like and or a comment if you found this video helpful in any way. And don't forget to subscribe to be informed on all things No Man's Sky, from beginner's guides to amazing starships and anything in between. Once you've got 100 fragmented koalia, you can combine it with 100 magnetized ferrites to create the seeds of glass. Insert it into the boundary failure to receive the final living part, the growing singularity which will take another 18 to 24 hours to mature. Once the singularity core has grown, it's time for one last time of warping until we encounter the living ship. This time it speaks of a song. Go into the mission log to see that the egg is humming a cryptic message. This message is actually a set of glyphs in the Euclid galaxy. So find yourself a portal and make sure you have the first 12 glyphs unlocked. Should you not know how to locate one, or still need to unlock some glyphs, I'll leave links to videos on both in the description down below. Charge the portal and put in the following address. The hunter, which is the bird. The reflection, that's the face. Another hunter slash bird. The spiral of reality, also known as the galaxy. The star over water slash the sunset. The Ascending Orb or the Balloon The Obscured Companion aka the Eclipse A Third Hunter slash Bird The Lowly Insect, that's the Bug The Anomaly or the Voxel The Sailor, that's the Boat And finally, the Ocean King, which is the Fish Go through the portal to arrive on No Man's Sky Court Void Egg. Here you'll need to get into your starship and fly towards the mark on your HUD. Use your target sweep to locate this abandoned building and clean off the goop from the terminal. You'll receive a soul chamber which needs to be filled up with 3 souls of fallen travelers. The first one will be marked with an approximate location. Use the target sweep to close in on the exact location. Interact with the grave and collect the first soul. After you've done so, use the target sweep to have the next approximate location be marked on your HUD. Repeat this until you have collected all three souls. Now just return to the portal to be able to warp back into your own reality. So the first thing you really want to do now is to create a manual save. As soon as you'll get into your ship you'll receive an incoming transmission. If you accept it, a living ship will be marked on your HUD. Go there to check it out. If you don't like the colors or the design, just reload your manual save and try again. Alternatively, instead of landing and getting out of your starship, you could also check the ship out using photo mode. If you want, you could also disconnect the communicator. 
This will give you the chance to travel to another system by teleporter or via portal. You could try to get a living ship from the No Man's Sky Corners Exchange as well. But as the egg connects you with a random ship spawn, it could take you hours of reloading before you land the ship you're after. Time much better spent on getting another void egg and nanites so you can easily get the ship you want on your second try. Video on this will be up soon. If you do find a ship you like, get out of your starship and approach it. Interact with a living ship. You'll need to begin its biogenesis by inserting the matured heart, the matured neural stem, the hardened shell, the singularity core, and finally the archived soul. Now you can interact with the living ship again to see its stats. Living ships are, just like exotic ships, always S-Class and have 22 general and 21 inventory technology slots available. And that was all for this walkthrough on the Starbirth mission. Do you bother spending days getting a living ship? Let me know in the comments down below and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Thank you so much for making it this far into the video. If you liked it, make sure to leave a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. If you really did, please subscribe. And if not, well, I hope I get to convince you in the next video.